Hi guys. It's been a while since I did a video. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is a cooking video. And I seen it all through TikTok and YouTube. What it is, I think I want to call it. I forgot what they call it, but it's a um bacon cheeseburger. Well, you can put regular hamburger in there, but I have bacon cheeseburgers. I love bacon cheeseburgers that are already pre-made. Um, but I um going to use them, mash them up, fry them up in the pan. And what you do is you stuff the onions while well, you make onion rings. I'm going to show y'all. Uh, you cut the onion rings, make them into onion rings. And you put um, the hamburger uh, in between the two onion rings. And then you take bacon and you wrap it around the onion rings. And then you bake it. So, I don't know. Let's get going. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so, um, it's been a half hour since I introduced everything, blah, blah, blah. It's not working. I don't, for one, I don't even know where they find these onions. They're huge. They're like that freaking big. And they have big slices. And then you put the hamburger around. You put the big slice. And then you, look. Listen. This is as big onion I can get, right? <laughs> so, I mean, I, this is what this is what they did. So they placed it in, and then they put a little teeny one in there like that, right? And they put the hamburger inside there, and then they wrapped it with bacon. We're not doing that because I don't I don't have um big enough onion rings. Oh yeah, yeah. So, what we're going to do is, uh, one second, one second, one second. Okay, so, what I thought to do is, I'm going to lay the, just the regular onion rings down on the parchment paper. If you watch all my cooking videos, y'all know I love my parchment paper. Um... Go to my YouTube, the wannabe artist, woohoo, exclamation, exclamation point, and you can go on there. I have a ton of playlists, ton of videos, from art to cooking videos, all kinds of stuff. I'm not a cook, but I love to cook. I love to learn. So, okay, so I'm just going to place these down. Ooh. That reminds me of snakeskin. Okay. I'm just going to place these all down. Like this. Oh my god, I'm losing it. Spread it all out. These onions are going to be delicious. I'm going to put some oil on the bottom too. I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. Because sometimes my videos, because I talk so much. Um... In my videos, I try not to <laughs> and just kind of go with the flow and end up telling stupid stories about something or whatnot, but I'm going to try to make this simple because my time here in upstate New York, it is 5.15. I should be done with this, but I say everything cooks um, and all that. I should be done by... Hopefully six o'clock, <laughs> cause I want to sit down and have a drink before I have to go to sleep and go back to work tomorrow. Okay, yeah, I mean whatever, it is what it is. Let's just do that. Ugh. Okay, and then I'm going to put on. Okay, hold on. This is. The bacon cheeseburgers, I just like fried it up in the pan. I don't even know if this is going to be enough, you guys. But I was supposed to put that in between the onion rings, right? And put the little one in there, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Mm. So, I'm just going to sprinkle this over like this. <laughs> this doesn't, guys, some of my cooking videos, listen, they don't turn out 
like they're supposed to, but then in the end, they are delicious. They don't look like they're supposed to, but in the end, they're delicious. So, ain't no stuffed onions going on here. I guess it's going to be a bacon cheeseburger or a onion bacon cheeseburger lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. All right, we're gonna spread that out. Ow! God, my carpet tunnel is killing me this week. I don't know what's happening this weekend. Okay, I'm just gonna spread this out. Spread it out, spread it out. I mean, it has to turn out delicious, right? With the onions cooked at the bottom and stuff. Do I, should I even put olive oil in there? I don't know. Should I put olive oil in there? I don't even have no olive oil. So, I mean, probably the hamburger grease is enough. But just because in the bacon, I don't even know, you guys. I'm just going to put a little dab here and there. That's all. Little dabbies. That should be enoughy. Okay, now all that's in here. Now we're just gonna put some bacon on top and layer it like the like so. Get off of there! Oh my God! Come on, people! Come on, bacon strips! How was everybody's weekend? Mine was okay. So I wanted to tell everybody, I'm super, super sorry about everybody's orders. I was just trying to get my house back in order. It is somewhat um, back in order. Um, I am getting a new doctor because my first doctor is a total fucking moron. Um, and didn't give me the answers that I wanted. So... Um, I got accepted into another uh, doctor's office that my sister referred me to. And so, I will have a new doctor from here on out. Um, my, if anybody wants to know, I want to know myself. Like, I'm definitely going to go live on TikTok, I guess. Possibly. <laughs> And, um, talk about my anxiety and my panic attacks because it's really serious. I'm going to be 55 years old and I've had a long, nice career of 32 years. Um, it may be time to change my career from being a teacher to something else. I don't know. Um, but that is why. Um, I have paused on orders and taking orders. I've taken some in the beginning of January and then I just, I had to stop. Um, my stress level was very, very high and I just, I couldn't focus and it was really bad. It was really hard for me and it still is hard for me, you guys. I do my videos to keep me focused and to keep me happy and everybody on TikTok, Facebook and uh, my um, videos, um, you know, it just keeps me, takes my mind off stuff. Um, so yeah, um, so there we are with that and I apologize to everybody, um, all orders, like I said in one of my, um, normally um, on my Facebook, Lori's Art page, I say good morning to everybody. If there's something important that I need to address to somebody or just to address to everybody, my followers, my customers, I will put it up there um, and let everybody know what's happening so they don't expect something other than what is supposed to be, <laughs> what they think is going to happen. So I have to address, and then I also address uh, my customers personally um, and say, this is what's happening, and you will get your order soon enough. A lot of things have been happening in January. Well, actually, I'm going to say from 
the begin the middle of December and all of this month has been very overwhelming and very stressful for me because I've had to change positions um, and I lost my classroom, my, my preschool classroom. I had my own seven kids. Um, and due to Biden, yeah, I'm going to mention that asshole's name, Biden, um, made it effective. I'm not sure when or whatever. I was talking to my boss about it some weeks ago that, um, UBK is now taking three-year-olds. UBK is only supposed to be taking four-year-olds. Now they're taking three-year-olds. So now what is happening at my center is all the parents, some of the parents, not all, some of the parents have decided that they can figure out the schedule of uh, applying to UPK and putting their three-year-old child in UPK. Now UPK is, um, their hours are only from nine to two o'clock in the afternoon. So if you can swing them hours, I get it. Um, but I just, I think it's not fair because my classroom ended up closing down and then I had to take my, um, kids that I did have, um, and change over to another classroom with other three-year-olds because we didn't have enough staff for them to cover my breaks or whatever, so and so, so, so forth. Um, and so we ended up having 18 kids, eight to imagine 18, I'm going to say, um, going at three, um, say their birthday is in April and they can come in three months before that into the three-year-old room before they turn three and vice versa. Same with the three-year-olds going into the four-year-olds. So we had that age, we had my three-year-olds combined, and then we have ones that are going in four, 18 combined kids like that in one room with three teachers, you know, three, three effing teachers. I was, I had so much anxiety. I had a teacher yelling in one ear. I had a teacher doing this in the other ear. I was trying to like teach a class and then somebody else is doing, the other teacher's doing this. I was like, oh, hell no. And this is why I am the way I am now is my anxiety is because of this classroom. Oh my God. So that's what's happening right now. <laughs> and then now I'm just, now I had to change my career because of this anxiety and all this other shit that my boss put me through, I am going to say it is 100% my boss's fault, period, period, um, that I am in this position. I don't think she, it should be allowed to have three teachers in one classroom combined with 18 kids. I don't think it's right. I don't think it's right. Um, anywho, that's just my opinion. Anybody else wants to vouch for their opinion? Go right ahead uh, in the comments, like or don't, it's okay. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there, what's happening with me and that's um, why if my orders are come to be late, I'm just dealing with a lot of emotions and a lot of health issues and I apologize. So that's why I stopped taking orders. I wanted to get my last order out for all of January's orders. And they will be out tomorrow. Um, yeah, they're heading out tomorrow. Um, I am going to be doing, um, making some changes um, in my orders. Because it is winter time and I work with epoxy all the time. I, um, things have not cured correctly because I have... I have two space heaters and I have my small, my small little electric heaters on the wall, which doesn't do shit. Um, so it's kind of hard to keep the heat going and keep, keep, um, my epoxy curing correctly on my tumblers and my coffee cups. It's beginning to be really annoying to me. 
And I'm probably not going to do tumblers and coffee cups at this point through the winter time. It's too difficult. I'm wasting way too much money. I have to do cups all over again. And it's just, uh, it's just really, really annoying. Epoxy is an asshole. <laughs> it has a mind of its own. And it's just going to do whatever it wants to do. So you just have to be really careful. If anybody wants to work with epoxy, please make sure the heating level in your place is good. It's all just like, make sure it's at least, I don't care what anybody says, you make sure your apartment is 75 degrees or above warm if you're working with epoxy. I've seen somebody, oh, make sure it's like 65 degrees. Oh, no, no, no. That's too cold. That's way too cold. So just, you know, anybody that works with epoxy, make sure you're um, wherever you're working, the, in the place that you're working with epoxy, make sure it's 75 or above. Okay. Um, so that's where I am with that. So I'm probably not going to do, I'm still going to do the free coffee cups, but just not in the winter time, y'all. It's just too hard. Um, I've had a epoxy over some tumblers for customers. I've had a epoxy over some coffee cups that, that just didn't cure correctly. And it's all because of, you know, I don't, I don't have the, the warmth that you need to work with epoxy. Um, so on that note, I'm probably going to discontinue the coffee cup winners just for in the winter. Come summer. Yes. And the tumblers, the tumblers don't really, I mean, it's okay with the tumblers. Um, I've had some issues with my tumblers. Um, I've had to like sand down a lot of my tumblers and epoxy it like three times. Yes, three times with epoxy. That's a lot of epoxy. And as I can stress enough, epoxy is very, very expensive. Um, so I'm not really sure y'all. I'll, I'll, I'll update you guys on my Facebook, uh, posts and all that stuff. Um, I am going to do, um, my regular, I'm going to do all my other stuff. I have like, oh my God, 15 other items that I make with epoxy that cure correctly. It's just the tumblers and cups. I have an issue with tumblers and goddamn cups. <laughs> So, anyways, all right, so let me stop that. This is what I'm saying. I talk too much. Ah! All right, so we just layered all this, and we're going to pop this in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes and go from there and see what happens. All right, talk to you all later in a little, little bit. <laughs> Peace. If I can get this to go on, what I want it to go on. Hello. Woo! Okay, so it's been about 45 to 50 minutes. I left it in there because I put the bacon in there raw. So I just wanted to make sure that was really, really done. It looks really, really done. And super, super crispy! Woo! Okay, hold on, you guys. Give it off. <gasps> that looks delicious! Oh, and I'm sorry, by the way, I decided to put mozzarella cheese over the bacon and slices of um, cucumber on top. I love my cucumber. I love my bacon. I wish I had some pickle to put in there too, but I don't. So this is my new creation. Okay. I guess I'm going to call it um, cheeseburger, onion, lasagna. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so let's, well, I better put, keep my mitten on so I don't burn my ass. Um, where's my plate? We're going to cut this and see. Get my mouse out of the way. I'm a dumbass sometimes. Like, I can't even, like, work a freaking laptop on this freaking thingy and move the thingy around on here. You know what I mean? I need my mouse. I need my damn mouse for sure. Oh, absolutely. Okay. All right. 
Oh my god, you can hear the onion. The onions? Um, the onions? They're, they're done. But it's just kind of like... I need a spatula. Spatula, please! My spatula. Ugh. Okay, hold on. Let me get a different... Oh my god. <laughs> I think I put too much mozzarella. I think I'm going to go over here instead. Some of the bacon's crispy and some of it's not. Which I knew it's going to happen because it's baked, y'all. It's just baked. All right, I'm just going to put that aside. That right there looks delicious. It's so crispy. Maybe I should take that part instead. Maybe I should take that part instead, you guys. <laughs> Okay. Ugh. All right. Yeah, let's do this one because it's like super, super yummy. <gasps> yummy, yummy, yummy to the tummy. Oh my god. Cut. Cut, 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 cut. Oh my god, just cut right into the pan. This is how sharp this knife is. Is it gonna like. Come on, people. Holy cow. Ow. Ow. Okay. Whatever comes up, comes up. Oh my god. <laughs> the bacon is like not slicing. Oh, you guys. I know the bacon's cooked, but it's just like. Maybe the knife is not sharp enough. Friggers. Ow. 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 Okay. Ugh. Holy cow. Ow. Hey, some onions. <gasps> it looks delicious. I know it's going to taste. Ow. <gasps> oh my God. It's hot. Hold on. Ow. Okay, so, holy cow, you guys. So, here it is. I'm just going to take this off. And it's nice and caramelized on top. The cucumbers are so good. They're cooked, but with the um, peeling on there, oh, it's so crunchy. And, like, mm, I can't even tell you. You know how cucumbers are just, like, so freshing? And stuff like that. The onions are definitely done. Mmm. Everything is done. So. It's all. It's all like. Guys. I'm trying to get a bite out of here. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Yummy. Yummy. Alright. I'm getting everything. I'm getting everything right now. Oh! Oh, fuck! <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I don't mean to be disgusting. That was really, really hot. <laughs> Mm. Oh my god. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Don't think I was disgusting. I mean I didn't even chew it. I just had to like let it out of my freaking mouth. It was like steaming hot. My bad. Mmm. That's really good, you guys. There you go. So, my invention would be bacon cheeseburger 
lasagna your own way. Oh yeah!